Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick video about my thoughts on Redfall. And I like it. <laughs> I truly like it. I don't love it. But yeah, I, I like this game because there's a charm there. There's something small. It's like a diamond in the rough. It's a lot of stuff that will tell you this game is bad and I won't disagree with you because of how the game looks, because of the pricing, because of the execution. I have many reasons why. Yeah, you probably shouldn't buy this game. But if you have Xbox Game Pass, you definitely should play this game. Now, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Again, everything that this game is getting reviewed on is true. The enemies are wonky. They're dumb at times. The game doesn't render everything properly. Sometimes it doesn't render it at all. There are bugs in this game. But I like it. And I guess it brings back a certain nostalgia of you get what you get. Some games, you remember a time where some games came out or games came out and whatever it was, that's how you played it. And let's be honest, a lot of games we used to play back then had bugs that we used to use for advantages. Now that clearly that's gone, a lot of the bugs are at a disadvantage to us, but that's just to paint a quick picture. I like Redfall. I'm not saying you should. I'm not trying to convince you if you hate it already. I'm just trying to point out why I like it because, man. I'm charmed. The game is ugly. I don't <laughs> if you thought Dishonored was a beautiful looking game. I mean, hey, that's your opinion. But I thought Dishonored looked like trash as well. So as far as how the game looks, they're the same to me. But what what this game has, it has the potential. And I just think it just didn't reach the execution point. I don't think they had enough time to make it to B. I think this game is actually at C and as far as developing go. And I think it's a reason for that. I think a little theory is that Microsoft is trying to sell more Game Pass. <laughs> and I guess I'm one of those people helping them, I guess. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to convince you, but this game is kind of fun. <laughs> All right. So let me explain why this game is fun. One, the story is actually good. The story is decent. I'm only five hours in and it's linear, but you also see point to point of how things were developed in this town, how things happen, which I like, like how Elden Ring players love Elden Ring. To me, Elden Ring is empty, but there are so many different aspects to that game that fills it up, which is what I feel playing Redfall. On, on, on the surface, this game is empty. Yeah, but it's a reason why the game's empty. There's there shouldn't be people running around because of what's happening. It's like an apocalypse. You wouldn't see people just running around. You'll see people trying to hide and sneak around. But story, it's not captivating, but it does tell a fulfilling story. I don't know about the ending. I'm not there yet, but gameplay. It's decent. It's a bit fun at times when you get to use your powers. You can tell this game was trying to involve the multiplayer aspect, which is a shame because 
you can only play online couched or online couch style, which <laughs> what I mean by that is it's like you can you can only play this game with your friends. You can't play with random people, which I actually enjoy because you either pick a friend or you play by yourself and this game isn't too hard to where you need someone there so it's like give and take it's a lot of ah, eh, this is bad and it's like ah, oh, that's cool so what i'm saying is this it's a good single player game yeah <laughs> boy that's not gonna go well <laughs> it's to me it's a good game but it's because i didn't pay for it i didn't pay 70 dollars for it uh i wasn't even looking for this game i got it on game pass and i think that's where it is i think if you play it on game pass you'll be okay you actually enjoy the game but for those who played it you have to worry you have to think about it this way someone who played who bought the game on steam has two hours to refund their money if you play over two hours it's kind of hard to get your money back you have little to none of a chance to get it so you have to try to absorb all this information <clears throat> under two hours and right away you, you if you are someone who's big on the aesthetics the way the game looks the way it feels yeah you definitely are going to just nah this game sucks that's why a lot of steam reviews people don't make two hours in their review but the people that do make it over two hours tend to kind of say they like the game which is what i'm doing but I get it and I understand because I won't say no, it's not good. There is a lot of stuff that this game needs. It, it needs to go not in the oven. It needs to go back to development. It needs to go back to brainstorming because whew, I came across a couple of bugs where I can't crouch anymore. <laughs> I can't hit the start, but well, you, you don't want to hit the start button because it's an online only game. You have to be online. You have to have internet in order to play this game. So even if you pause the game, the enemy still will attack you. Learn that the hard way. Um, but yeah, I, I just think the game, it's everything people are saying. And it's everything I'm saying. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's fun because of the powers. I haven't played with everyone so far. I've been playing with the scientist guy and he has a move where he can throw a disc and teleport to that disc. And if you're playing with people, they can teleport with you. Then he has a staff that he throws and it electrocutes the area that it's in. So it's an AOE. And I'm telling you, it's fun. If you got it on Game Pass. <laughs> but in all jokes aside, if you paid for it, please get your money back because we don't know if this game will become good. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think could save this game? Or is it just too late? I'm Lamar Bridges from Justice Not Vengeance. Peace.